The East Fort area in the capital city of Tiruvananthapuram bears a lot of historic significance. The fort has stood witness to many events in the annals of the erstwhile Travancore Kingdom, and also to the development of the capital city of Tiruvananthapuram. For a visitor, the imposing gateway of the East Fort, painted in white and located on the eastern side, facing the famous Yulai Bazaar is the usual way to get inside the fort. Built in AD 1747 by King Mart Handavarma, the East Fort is the most prominent of the forts. One can also find two mandapans platform with a roof supported by pillars at the top, which were once used to announce royal proclamations. A bit towards south of East Fort Gate is the Fort Gate, called Veta Murichakota with rooms for guards on either side. The construction of this fort was initiated by King Vishakam Therunal. As one enters through the East Fort Gate, Straight in line with the entrance is the Padmanabhaswami Temple. Built in traditional Kerala and Dravidian style, the architecture of this seven-story temple tower itself is a sight to behold. Inside the temple, a mandapam, platform with pillars, carved out of a single piece of rock displays eye-catching sculptures. On the way to the temple, one would also find a piece of engineering marvel called Methan Mani. Built in 1818 is the Padanjare Kota at the fort gate situated on the western side. This fort gate was built following the closure of another gate called Nariadachin Kota, which is situated close to it. Just like the East Fort, the Padanjare Kota also has a touch of French architecture. The annual Arat procession from the Padmanabhaswami Temple passes through this fort. Inside the fort area, one can find several small and big palaces, and palatial buildings built in traditional as well as Western style of architecture. Among the prominent palaces in the East Fort area, the Ananthavillasam Palace is considered the most beautiful of all. Close to Ananthavillasam Palace and built by King Sri Mulam Thirunal in 1885 is the Krishnavillasam Palace, which integrates the traditional and Western styles of architecture. Another notable one among the palaces in East Fort is the Sri Padam Kottaram, which is one of the oldest palaces inside the fort.